do a short video here on a solar air heater that I am uh, building. Found some plans online. This will be my first attempt at it. Hopefully it works okay. Um, I've got all my. I'm going to use it out of the downspout. It's access to some. And uh, it's going to kind of come in down here, work its way through, back down. You kind of get the picture back and forth through the whole thing until it finally comes out the very end. Some of the tests that I've seen, um, they're getting about uh, 200 degrees, 190 to 200 degree air coming out the back side. So um, hopefully that'll work out pretty good. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tip this up on its side. I'm going to take it out here in the driveway. He's been no help whatsoever. Uh, but uh, I'm going to spray paint the whole thing black underside and then we'll put these in and uh, we'll silicone down and around underneath there. Silicone them real good. We'll put them in there and then this board will just like it's set and we'll sandwich down on top and of course we'll silicone on top of all the, the downspouts and then push that board down and we got the plexiglass top. This is only nine dollars for per sheet, which I was pretty impressed. But that was gonna be a lot more than that, so it's pretty economical, and uh, hopefully it works pretty good. Um, let me see my other videos. My garage is just a disaster right now, but I would love to be able to keep this thing maybe 55, 60 degrees out here in the winter time, so I could uh, work on the Jeep or whatever I want to do. So we'll uh, we'll see how she works. So just do an update on the box here real quick. Um, get everything put together, everything painted, get everything caulked really well, front and bottom, back and forth. I think I've used about six bottles of caulk on the whole thing. So I'm going to put some weather stripping on the top here all the way around before I put my plexiglass top on. I'm using weather stripping in case I want to take the top off. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be airtight enough. If not, then we'll take it back off and uh, put some silicone on. Again, air is going to come out from here. The flow down here. Back up through there. Back down through here. And then you can kind of see all the way. down and then we'll have the exit down here so I'm gonna put the plexiglass top on actually I might cut the holes the in and out holes first before I put the plexiglass on that way I'm okay and I'll, I'll know that um, I'll get any wood shavings and everything out too so all right we'll uh, hopefully have the finished product here in a few seconds so here's the final product out in sunlight. It's been out here for about a half an hour now. It's not in the location it's going to go, but Let's take a digital temperature here. About 162, 165, about this highest I've had it. But. It's not too bad right now. But uh, yeah, for our first try, we'll take it. Um, put a vent in the side here and then put a dryer vent on the inside. And cold air intake on the bottom, warm air up on top, and should be just fine.